Let's get our pack on and let's get up there while we've still got daylight. That's right guys, welcome back to another episode Out There Doing It with J.E. Wilds, brought to you by your local hunting and fishing store. Yeah, just like that guys, we're in a whole new zone. It's nice now, but it's in bad weather, it turned real nasty. What do you think Pedro? The place looks amazing, let's figure out how easy it is to move around and check the country <laughs> because it looks pretty stiff. Yeah, cramp on country for sure. Located a nice little spot down below us here that we're gonna camp. Pretty good, we got a water source right there. We have to crack the surface of that lake, but it's gonna give us good water. We're feeling pretty good, man. It's good to get into some new country. You guys come with us. I think I'm gonna put my tent roughly about here. I think Pedro's going just back a bit further. Nice big sheltered wall. Look at that. Gonna block us from the wind. A little bit of gnarly weather coming in about three days' time. <laughs> We're gonna set up the tents, eat something, and start getting to know this new country. Full tar. It's a full tar there. Oh, no kidding. Where? In the first one or in the second? Top one, but out to the right, bedded on a rock. He couldn't be higher. He's like right at the peak, on top of a rock, controlling everything. He's just bedded there, eh? he's not too worried about us. He was looking down at us before. We are 1,400 meters away. Has he got any... Is there any other ones with him? Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. That one looks like a better one. That last one that, that we just spotted is a f real nice bull. Seriously, that last one's a real good bull. Yeah. Definitely want to get a closer look at them. They couldn't be high though, they're right at the top. Epic! I'm going to put the three person hubba hubba up. Haven't done this for a while, so let's see if we still have the magic. <laughs> Camp's all set up, so we're just going to go and collect some camp water before we go out for our evening hunt. We're going to have to crack the surface of this lake to get to the water underneath. So we've got the ice axes, we've got the big water container. Definitely want to boil it. Yeah, looks good. Let's fill up the container. For our drinking water we're still going to filter it but a lot of this is going to be boiled anyway so for our meals and things like that. This little hole we've created will be frozen by tomorrow morning so we have to open it back up again. How good is it when you've got such a good water source right next to camp and you don't need to worry about running out? <laughs> you see on the skyline? You look like a female. Yep. Nanny tar. That's freaking awesome. Right guys, packed our bags, we've got our gear ready. Pedro's just filtering some water for a drink bottle and then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go for our first little look at the spot and see what we can find. It's still pretty warm. I've just got a merino top on, got my warm gear in my pack. It's gonna get cold real quick tonight, but we're both pumped. We're so excited to have a look around because already we've seen more animals than we did at the last place. It looks like dirty water, but he's actually got, what have you got in there? Some wilderness athlete stuff. Drugs. <laughs> that would make me fly up the mountain. I didn't show you camp once we set it up, so I'll quickly give you a look now. So this is my tent here, it's a hubba hubba three person. Pedro's got his QU tent over here. Camp vibes area over here. I've got my little clothes horse over here, drying all my socks. <laughs> my bag's packed for the hunt this evening. And there's our water source right down there. Let's go bro. 
<laughs> this guy, one of these days I'm gonna let you hang him for an hour. Nah, you wouldn't do that. Nah, not to a bro. Got animal tracks just up above us. Whew. Epic view. right there boys. If I had more stuff I'd be putting that on too. <laughs> what do you think Pedro? I think you should add a little bit of a chocolate bar. <laughs> a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar inside there. Wow. Mm. You don't know what you're missing out on bro. Standing up, there is one, two, and three, embedded one, two, and three. Long ways away, almost like two kilometers away. Looks like there is some kids, some nannies. How beautiful they are, it's, it's one of my favorite animals. <laughs> I have to admit, most of the people don't see the beauty on them, but for me, they are beautiful. Talk about the rifle, we're finally going to tell you about it. This is actually a prototype Bagara. Pedro's brought it over and we're testing it on this hunt. It's the first of its kind, doesn't even have a name. Funny thing is, we said, if you don't give us a name for the rifle before the hunt, we're going to make up our own names. My name was Big Buck Slayer 3000. Pedro's was Puss in Boots 69. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway guys, it's brand new, first of its kind. Ultra lightweight, it's carbon fibre stock, carbon fibre barrel. We've got a Loophole VX6 on the top, a really nice, accurate, lightweight rifle. This has been a really cool hunt to test this rifle out, and I'm hoping I can shoot a big bull with it on this trip. Just spotted a young bull up on the face behind us. We're gonna get to this point here and look around the corner, but also keep an eye out up there behind us, because I reckon there's more tar. But have a look at this well-used game trail. Let's peek over there and we sit down for 15 minutes and watch that face properly because all the area looks amazing. Meters. 
That's awesome. literally to five meters of the tower so one of my passions is bow hunting that's one of the things I do the most and I love getting close to the animal it was so close that I couldn't barely focus it on get it on frame because it was like five meters that was awesome right we're gonna move to the next point we're gonna see if we can see up those fingers that run down from the top Here. I'm gonna put some more warm layers on because it's starting to get cold. You guys, you might be wondering what these pants are that I'm wearing and what that sage colored top is. A little secret we've been working on for quite a while now. About 18 months ago, I partnered up with Huntec and we're designing five items of clothing that I would personally use in this type of environment. So I'm not gonna give away too much, but these pants here are one of the items. <laughs> that merino top is another. This top here is another. These are prototype number one, so I'm testing them out in this environment. At the moment, you can find a big range of hunted clothing at your local hunting and fishing, but keep your eyes peeled on the future. We've just spotted a big bull right when I'm saying that. We've got a big bull down low <laughs> right when I'm doing that talk, so. I'm gonna get the camera on it and show you guys right now. Unfortunately, the bigger bull, he's got like four or five nannies. He's just gone behind a rock. What you can see right now are two younger bulls by the looks, but there is another big old bull at the top of the ridge, skylining himself at the moment too. We're in the bulls, bro. <laughs> it's 4.30, so we have a couple of hours. They are, the, the closer pool is like around 900 meters, which will get some altitude to try to cross, get a closer look to the bull. And if we can take our chances because the weather can change, a lot of things can change here. So yeah, finally, I'm super stoked. Let's go, let's move, come on.
far is it? 140. Jumps like a heat ray. I think it was a good hit. I was actually looking at this screen when you pulled the trigger. So, I don't think it was a good hit. Thank you, my father. That was freaking up oh, Put it there. 140 oh. meters, you won't believe how well you will see the guitar. So, I'm, I'm scared that I rushed the shot, but. I think there was a bit of a rock behind him, too. Oh, it was not a skyline. You got rocks behind them. Oh man. I feel like he jumped like this. Well, let's have a look on the footage. Looked like a good shot, guys. We just reviewed the footage. I'm shaking. Potentially like the point of the shoulder. Dude. Crystal yes. clear. Dip. It was such a beautiful view yeah. of the animal through the scope. 140 meters, that's the distance you want to shoot. What the heck, Pedro? Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. That was Thanks epic. a lot. All right, let's get our pack on oh. and let's get up there while we've still got daylight. <sighs> 140 meters only. Yeah, Look how far above the clouds we are. Yep. Yeah, you was up there. Should we go up off? Like this. Ten meters. Oh. How beautiful this is. Do you ever think how lucky we are to be in places like this with being part of nature with this sunset in the middle of nowhere? We are super lucky. It's a really, looks like a really old bull. A lot of growths here, but it's broomed off. Old polished with the age. Amazing, amazing cape. Feeling super blessed. It turns out to be like a super old bull. We can't even count how many age rings and to be able to harvest an animal from the mountains that have lived so long and have survived so many winters. It is pretty, pretty special, so. Yes, feeling super blessed and I think that we should really value these animals as they are because they are amazing. Far out guys, that is epic. We've just taken some amazing photos. It's an old, old broomed off bull. Probably around 14 years old. Dude, that's a real good bull. <laughs>
the new prototype rifle. All right, guys, one last thing. So the next day, we ended up going back and collecting the remainder of the meat. We also full body skinned this bull. So we've got the entire cape. This bull, to put into perspective, would be the best cape I've ever seen and ever been a part of hunting. It's an incredible, incredible cape. Another beautiful day in paradise. And guys, what we ended up doing, we donated this cape to a good friend of mine, Zim. Now, you might have seen Zim on some of my fishing videos. If you listen to my podcasts, I normally stay with Zim when I'm down in the area. So Zim owns a business, NZ Taxidermy. He's just finished his brand new showroom, which is an amazing showroom displaying his work, what he can do and all that stuff. So you see these empty forms up on the top of this mountain here. See these white forms, the empty forms? Our bull cape from Pedro's big old bull is going to be displayed up on his mountain. So if you're near Wanaka and you want to go and have a look at it, NZ Taxidermy. You will see our big old bull up there on NZ Taxidermy's showroom mountain. And that is super exciting. NZ Taxidermy guys, give them a follow, keep up with the progress. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Did you think, sorry? I was like, yeah, I know.